Welcome everyone, uh, it's uh, Mike here from the Heavy Chef Project and due to popular demand uh, we're back with the guys from Channel Mobile, Gavin and Rob. Uh, we, had a lot of <laughs> we had a lot of feedback from the last video and guys found it really interesting, the, the, the viewers of the Heavy Chef saying they want to hear uh, or see more videos on mobile, so it's turned out quite a popular article. So we're going to try and make this a little bit of a regular feature with these guys and just try and learn a little bit more about mobile and tools and tips that we can use ourselves in, in our businesses uh, to make the most of, of mobile. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about sort of the, the ethics and, and privacy and things of, of mobile. But just, just to start with, um, just to put it in context, a mobile is very um, a personal sort of device. You know, and, and one of the, the big pluses is it can provide sort of relevant and timely information to uh, the people receiving information from a, from a mobile. That tends to be friends and family, you know, everyone uses it for friends and family, but obviously for businesses and to help to build the brand. Um, but is there, so what is the real benefit knowing that sort of information um, of, of mobile? How can it sort of be used? I think you hit the nail on the head there, Mike. Um, personal is, uh, it, was a flip, it, it is a two-sided coin yeah. in that Great that it's personal. It's um, compared to a TV broadcast or ad or radio advertisement that's directed at the masses. Yeah. Um, you can be, be um, the customer can get to feel like the message that's arriving on their mobile is particularly meant for them, um, personalised, and, and that is that is a real strong point of mobile communication. So I suppose that's why it's working so well. Why everyone Including maybe chef uh, they're sort of so interesting, interesting because they can hit people um, straight away with information about them. But doesn't it throw up some sort of uh, issues with um, sort of privacy? You know, people feeling like they're being spammed, um, or that they're being spied on. Suddenly, they get this really relevant bit of information on their mobile phone. You know, it's a little bit disconcerting for for a lot of people. Yeah, it's, it's, it can be like but. Um I think what, what we need to make sure as businesses is uh, getting people to opt in to receiving those messages. If you're just going to randomly take databases and SMS for a product offering, then it definitely is spam. But if you've been open and honest and communicated to your client base and said, guys, we want to send you messages for products that we have on offer that are going to you know, be, be good for you and efficient for you and for your business, and get them to actually opt in, then, then definitely I think you're getting on that hurdle. I mean, I've, I've personally opted in to, to stuff, and it sometimes gets to the point that even with the, the opt-in, there's just too much. But I sometimes don't know how to get yeah, out of it. You know? I, I think that, that you, know, with, uh, you know, according to the ECT Act, there has to be an unsubscribe on, on the electronic communication. Okay, yeah. So there needs to be an unsubscribe path. There also needs to be. Um, and that, that's true in South Africa. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is a clause that says that. If you contact whoever sent you a message, if you contact them, they have to divulge where they received your where they got your, their, your information from. So, and of course, there's um, from, in the mobile space, there's, a, there's an organisation called WASPA who police uh, unsolicited messaging and, and and the industry very closely. Okay. Um, but I guess what we're getting to though is, it's, it's, you know, you want to avoid the complaints. You don't want to be you don't want people complaining. You want people getting pertinent information and. Um, the way it's going, I think, is, is, is more um, specific opt-in. So not just, yes, I will receive an SMS message. Yes, I would like to receive messages regarding boom, 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 boom. So profiling in a, in a way. Okay. And, and that's where marketing, I think, is leading. Oh, it's, it's good from a marketing perspective, but sometimes as a consumer, I suppose there's this, there's this balance, this problem now, that we can send out great relevant messages, which suddenly becomes worthwhile for me as a consumer to receive that message. But then, the companies that you guys, South Africa, for example, when they're sending the messages out, they're struggling to get people to give them that information because they feel like, oh my God, if we give them too much information, they're like got a whole life story and they're, they're spying on us, you know. So I suppose it's trying to find that way out. Yeah, and I think it's also just a, um, people getting used to it. It's, 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 um, you know, marketing's becoming more and more direct, more and more profiled. Um, you know, you've got applications nowadays where you can 
um, track where you are, track your relatives, close friends, um, and, and have software that tells you, you know, constantly and updates you where your loved ones are. Now, if you had to tell your if you want to know, yeah, <laughs> if you had to tell your teenage daughter that you that you want to roll that application out, <laughs> sure, and that you'll know exactly where she is every second of the day. There's a whole bunch of trust issues. <laughs> She's probably not going to like that. But it's um, yeah, it's a it, it is a matter of, of getting used to it. Cool. And then do you? I mean, you mentioned about the the laws there that are stipulated within South Africa. Um, what about in terms of sharing? Those, I know from, from an email perspective, you can't share. I, I can't take my database and just like sort of share it with the customers. The same, the same true of SMSs. Yeah, yeah, but if, definitely. It's this, this, yeah, you know, you're not, it's, it's, un, it's unethical. And uh, the, the, unless you've got a proper, proper opt in database where people have, have agreed to you selling their information on to other companies, then it's, it's, just, it's just unethical and, and, and not. not uh, Common practice, really, and it's not—it's not good business practice at all. That's not good branding. Is it? No, I've got to note that the privacy policy is actually good as well. You have the, the length of privacy policy and clearly communicates to people you know, exactly where they stand, because you definitely don't want to be selling people's information and having this done. And that's just. And can you can, you can you do that from within a sort of an SMS or, or something that you've sent out to someone that? Uh, go check out my privacy policy and things, so you can directly link through from the from the application to go and check that out. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Um, and obviously you can have those, that on your website, etc. Awesome. Um, the other problem that I have as a have a have, has a, have as a user is um, someone will send me the SMS about something, and suddenly I get the email, and suddenly I get a newsletter, all about the same thing. And the first one was relevant. You know, now I'm just annoyed mm. because I'm just receiving it from. From everything mm. and that's, is, is, is there a way around that? I suppose you just got to manage from a single... Yeah, I think, you know, again, it comes down to a kind of profiling. So, um, you know, we, we like to design databases that people can, um, you can, opt, you can profile your customer according to what the information they would like to hear and also what their preferred method of communication is. For instance, I hate getting a phone call from someone to find out about how my service was, yeah. it takes 10 to 15 minutes. I never have time for that phone call. Yeah. And hence, I never give them accurate or proper feedback. Mm. You're just trying to get rid of them. I know, the company should so. Send me an SMS. I can, if, I, if I had a bad service, I'll reply yeah. on that. Um, if I had a good one, I'll also reply. But it's so much easier. And, and uh, it's, So that's my preferred method of communication is surprise, surprise. Yeah. But it's, but it's, so what you're saying is, of course, is understanding the customer. That's for sure. And from a marketing perspective, that's what you should be doing anyway. Anyway. You know, if you, if you hit them in the way in which they want to receive that information, you know, then it's... You're going to get a much better response as well. Better response rate on the campaign if, if you've taken the time to find out exactly how your, your customers want to communicate with you. Yeah, how they want to interact with your brand. Cool. Fantastic, guys. Well, there you go. Some, some tips on being ethical online and I think if you follow those just in terms of being ethical and private and following privacy laws and the way in which you communicate, um, you're gonna get a better response from your from your customers anyway. So not only are you drawing the letter of the law, you're actually gonna see a benefit from it in that way. Cool. Well thanks guys, appreciate you chatting and uh, we'll be back soon I'm nice sure. Nice to see you again. Cheers. Cheers man.